Welcome to Module 13 of Excel 2016. In this module, you will learn how to perform logical operations by using the if, sumif, averageif, and countif functions. Let's create a row in the temperature table to quickly determine in which months of the average temperature of Antarctica is less than negative 50 degrees. In cell A48, type average, the less than sign, negative 50, and press tab. With cell B48 active, click logical in the functions library group of the formulas tab and click if. The function arguments dialog box comes up. In logical test, type B43, the less than sign, and negative 50 which is stating that the average temperature for January is lower than negative 50 degrees. For value if true, type yes. For value if false, type no. Click OK. The answer to this conditional formula is no, which you see in cell B48. Now drag this formula across the table to see the yes-no answer for each month's average. Let's now create another row and name it sum if the less than sign negative 30. Click the cell for January and click sum if under the math and trig button on the formula menu. The function argument box comes up. Select the range for January by clicking the minimize box with a red arrow in it. Now select cells B6 through B42. Click the box again to maximize the function argument box. For the criteria, type the less than sign, negative 30. Click OK. Negative 188 appears in the cell, which is the sum of all cells with temperatures lower than negative 30 degrees. Drag this box across the table to see the sum if less than negative 30 degrees for each month. The average if function returns the arithmetic mean of all the cells in a range that meet a given criteria. Let's take the average temperature for each month from 1980 to 1995. Title the row average if 1980 to 1995. Select cell B50. In the More functions, then Statistical menu, choose Average If. This time the range is the years, since we are evaluating the average based on which year the temperature was taken. Minimize the box and highlight cells A6 to A42. For criteria, type the less than sign, equal sign, 1995, since we only want to take the average from the start of our data set in 1980 until 1995. The criteria is the condition against which you want the cells to be evaluated. Click in the Average Range box. Average range is the range of data we are actually going to take the average of, which are the temperatures in January during this time period. Minimize the box and highlight cells B6 through B42. Maximize the box again and press OK. Notice the average temperature from 1980 to 1995 was negative 29.45 degrees, which is colder than the average over the entire data set up until 2016. Again, drag the formula across your table to calculate the averages for each month. The COUNTIF function counts the number of cells in a given range that meet a specific condition. Let's count how many times January's temperature dipped below negative 50 degrees. In cell A51, give this row the title COUNT TEMP, the less than sign, equal sign, negative 50. Select cell B51 and choose the count if function from the more functions statistical section. 
In the Function Arguments box, select the range of temperatures in January and type the criteria of the less than sign equals sign negative 50. Press Enter to calculate. For January, there were no reported temperatures below negative 50 degrees, which makes sense considering it's Antarctica's summer. Drag the formula across the table. Notice how in July, in 32 of the years, the temperature was lower than negative 50 degrees. Let's clean up our table. Format numbers as numbers in the Home tab and bring any decimals down to two places.